Deep in rural Karnataka, communities in over two dozen villages are today creating a brighter future. There is hope in the air and confidence in each step forward. Here, a sustainable way of power generation has been demonstrated and a new way of thinking about people and communities has been fostered. In these villages, biomass has given power to the people. What is biomass energy? It is nothing but the energy produced from wood, agricultural residue or animal waste. Because it can be grown and used, it is a renewable source of energy. And because it consumes an equal amount of carbon dioxide that it generates, it is known as a carbon neutral energy source. To demonstrate the potential of biomass energy, five organizations joined hands in 2001. These were the Global Environment Facility, the India-Canada Environment Facility, the United Nations Development Programme and the Governments of India and Karnataka. Together they launched BERI or Biomass Energy for Rural India, a project that aspired to meet rural energy needs through bioenergy. BERI project is actually one of the important projects to UNDP. It actually focuses on uh, three important uh, aspects. One is uh, development and another is uh, greenhouse gases emission reduction and also the national priority to provide electricity to rural areas from bioenergy. The technology that would power Berry was developed at the Bangalore-based Indian Institute of Sciences. Here scientists had tested a sub-megawatt power generation system through biomass gasification and the project now sought to demonstrate the technology on the ground. Subsequently, Berry built biomass power generation plants in Kabbigere, Sebbananapalaya and Borigunte villages in Tumkur district. Together these plants had an installed capacity of 1 megawatt, capable of lighting up over 12,000 households. This is the only technology that can give you around the clock power in electricity in rural areas by virtue of the fact that it has the capability of uh, bottom-up generation. At a capital cost of 6 crore rupees per megawatt, the cost of power at about 8 rupees per kilowatt hour, and many social and environmental benefits, these were viable alternatives to grid power. When I initial stage, there were, there were uh, problems with it. It's a new technology. Bioenergy projects have long been vexed by the issue of reliable biomass supplies. Everywhere I go and you know, talk to the biomass uh, developers, whether it is through the combustion route or the gasification route, they ask me only the first question they ask me is where is the biomass? Where can I get biomass? When you do an assessment, you will find a lot of biomass. When you go to procure, you will get biomass but price will be double. So this project actually for the first time built a supply chain, starting from the grass route. One of the major things for biomass based electricity plants is they will consume a lot of biomass. So they might deforest. That's one of the concerns that uh, people do have. That is why the project actually conceived it in such a way that the biomass required is actually grown. Berry raised decentralized plantations that ensured a steady and adequate supply of biomass feedstock to the power plant. These were spread over 3,000 hectares of forest land, panchayat land, buns along farmland and a dedicated captive plantation. The plantations nurtured by the project have reduced carbon dioxide emissions by over 27,000 tons annually. More crucially, it created new employment generation avenues and empowered communities. The first time an effort was made to involve the community in two things that they are good at. One is, you know, they have the land, which is their only asset. The only other asset that they have is their labor. And this project somehow, you know, tried to bring these two together and make it work for biomass energy. Berry partnered NGOs in the area and created a strong community movement that supported the power plants. Unless the 
communities and the local villages are uh, intimately involved in the project uh, planning, project implementation and sharing of benefits. Uh, uh, I, I don't think any project of this type in rural areas would become successful. Communities were organized into groups such as biogas user groups, village forest committees, water users associations and women's self-help groups. These organizations together formed the Village Bioenergy Management Committee, which worked with the Gram Panchayat to manage the biomass power plants. To build capacity in the community to manage the power plants, Berry facilitated advanced training on operations and maintenance. Awareness generation workshops and exposure visits were also organized for over 10,000 people. To give a further impetus to community participation in the project, close to 50 bore wells were dug by Berry and its partners. <laughs> Irrigation was an uh, integral component as a uh, community ice-breaking uh, you know, intervention because that is what people wanted more than just electricity for lighting, they wanted for irrigation. Irrigation in a Ulida member Gulliella, Arde Ekrevorgo, or Nira Oriana, Marconike, Provisanide. But each group will also have some landless people in the village who will get half acre worth of water. Either they can sell it to someone else or they can you know, lease in land and use it. This is something again very unusual in a participatory irrigation management system that you are also bringing in the landless. And that I think brought a lot of people into the uh, project and community got mobilized well. Berry's project design sought to generate and directly distribute power to beneficiary villages. However, the low demand for power in villages forced a rethink of this strategy. Your plant load factor would be very, very low if you were only supplying to the village. For example, between 6 o'clock in the morning to evening 6 o'clock, you may have hardly any load. So what do you do with the plant? You can't shut it down then. So the decision was taken to connect to the grid so that your plant load factor goes up. From a technical point of view, it made a lot of sense. But it was also groundbreaking because no one had done uh, plants at that scale connected to the grid. The power plant at Kabbigere was soon transferring electricity to the grid. And the Kabbigere Panchayat became perhaps the first Panchayat to sign a power purchase agreement with an electricity utility. This transformed villagers from mere users to producers and distributors of power. It built a lot of pride in them that this is our plant, we will supply now to the grid and you know, help so many other people in the state actually benefit from the power we are generating. Estimates indicate that close to 11 lakh households in rural India do not have access to electricity. But it is neither easy, nor cost effective, nor environmentally sustainable to bring grid power to villages. Does this mean that millions of people in India's villages will never achieve empowerment through modern energy? Berry has demonstrated that it does not have to be that way. It has presented a model where each of India's 2,32,000 panchayats can not only produce bioenergy but even become exporters of power. We have demonstrated to the country and to the world that uh, uh, such type of projects are technically feasible, technically viable, they are operable at decentralized level. This was a great combination that this project hit upon because the community can certainly do these two things, grow biomass and supply it and you know, use the power and pay for it. So it was a very virtuous cycle that could be built very easily. This project can help uh, giving those kind of uh, learnings to design interventions for these villages on how biomass can be grown, energy can be generated. 
ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ನೆನೆಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕೆಲಸ ನಿಮಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ ಶೋನ್ ಬೈ ಬೆರಿ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೈಬಲ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟು ರೂರಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ ಎಂಪವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕವರ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾತ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನಬಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ 